Good morning, welcome back to BTHQ Banter week 22. I know I said at the end of last week's BTHQ Banter that there wouldn't be any banter this week because we weren't doing anything, but I completely forgot that today, Friday and tomorrow, Saturday are crazy, crazy days here in the studio. So we're gonna have plenty of content for you to fill your boots with at the end of May half term. So it's a really, really busy day today. We've got two classes in the morning and two classes in the afternoon in both studios, and we've got visitors in the lounge. It is Elspeth's birthday, but not until Sunday, but she's allowed her present. No, it's this Wednesday, apparently. It's Wednesday. It's next Wednesday. Yes. Oh, okay. 29th, yeah. Next Wednesday, but we're away, so she's got her present early, and Izzy has drawn her this. This is her two cats, Bee and Benny, and all of their various toys, and obviously a very glamorous looking Elspeth. So she's about to open her prezzies. Alison is knitting in the middle square of a blanket. Middle square of a blanket, superb. We have the lovely Irene and Sharon down here making more of our lovely little owls. So we'll show you those when they're finished. And then next door in unit two, Carol is teaching these lovely ladies to make their very first pair of socks. How are you going? Very well. Very <laughs> we'll come back to you a bit later as well. <laughs> We have another good card here from Elspeth. Show us the picture. Right. Of all the handicrafts she has tried, she'd found that only with crochet could she make beautiful and... Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to take the picture away. That's fine. Beautiful and decorative items for the home, while at the same time strengthening the pointing finger she used for various accusations, <laughs> moral instruction and righteous indignation. <laughs> Elspeth and Alison back there are watching last week's BTHQ banter. There is nothing worse than hearing yourself on video. Just putting that out there. I've been trying to work on this pattern that I was doing with Irene a couple of weeks ago for these slippers and I'm actually, I'm giving up. It's ridiculous. The problem with patterns that are in magazines is that they're so frugally written to save on paper space that they're never written out in detail enough and although the pattern works, it's just messy and I just don't like it and I've had enough. Marine's finished her owl. Is he ever going to dance for us? The owls have to dance. You don't have to dance. <laughs> <laughs> They're now sitting in their yarn nest. So what's this one called? Minerva. Minerva. What's yours called, Sharon? Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> Olivia the owl. <laughs> Olivia and Minerva. Oh. Good afternoon. The ladies from this morning's classes have all gone home. We've had a couple of hours of quiet. Um, Charlotte has come in this afternoon. She's busy over there and she is cutting out all of her race t-shirts. She does lots of these kind of crazy obstacle runs through mud and stuff that ugh, I don't like the idea of, but she's very good at it. And she's gonna cut them all up and turn them into a quilt. In the meantime, my overlocker has just come unthreaded and I've just spent the last 20 minutes re-threading it, even with the easy looking, stitchy, thready button thing. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. Um, and I'm just about to do something I do all the time when I've re-threaded my overlocker, and that is talk nicely to it. So little overlocker, you've been re-threaded, now it's time to work perfectly. I love you very much. Off you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Works every time. So I got some snail mail today. It's not very often that you get actual proper letters from real people with real stamps on them and real handwritten addresses. So I got all excited, but this will make you laugh. It's a letter from Irene who came on our Ginger Jeans class at the weekend. She says thank you very much for putting on the class. She had a really nice time, but she sent me back one of our seam gauges in the post. She may have accidentally taken it home. That's honesty for you. Thanks, Irene. So Charlotte's just gone home. It's now half past four. While she's been here, I've been sewing up my scraps from this dress, which I sewed last week, and I've turned them into yet another 
frilly sleeved top. I can't really put it on to show you because you wouldn't see it over the top of my dress. It all kind of blends in. But I'm really pleased with that and that's going to get loads and loads of wear this summer. If you haven't yet tried the tutorial, please do. I'll link it up here and I'd really love to see your makes. Please share them with me on social media. Anyway, that is today over and done with. Tomorrow is another super busy day, so I will see you tomorrow, Saturday. Good morning, welcome back. It is Saturday. We have a busy day here in the studio today. I'm about to teach a cushion basics class with three lovely pupils, and Carol is next door. Um, and again, she's teaching a beginner's sock knitting. I think she's got three pupils as well. Um, that's just this morning. This afternoon is busy, busy. Carol's got five brand new beginner knitters, which we can uh, indoctrinate into BTHQ and get them addicted. Um, and then we have a free machine embroidery class this afternoon as well as people randomly popping in, which always happens on a Saturday. So let's see how the day goes. See you later. So my knitters are busy knitting. Got more socks coming. And I've just got to show you this gorgeous bag that Anna's brought in. It's so lovely and it is by, we did discover, Betsy Makes, I've heard of them before. And it's so beautifully made. The quality is fantastic. It's absolutely stunning. It's got lavender fabric inside. Um, and Anna's placed lavender bags in there and it just smells delicious mm -hmm. but it comes with these lovely little DPN holders and even these have got wadding inside them so they're all squishy they're so beautifully made so go and check out Betsy Makes I think she's on Etsy drop stitches oh no <laughs> Kate's busy knitting what have you got Kate oh another head of heels I like these ones beautiful they're busy doing zips in here. First time a zips with tabs for our cushions. Got some gorgeous fabric. I love Sharon's fabric. Look, it's that upholstery fabric. This is from Donnell Mill if you want it. And it's got these lovely little flecks in it and all these gorgeous little stars. It's really, really pretty. And Rosie's come to join us today. <laughs> And she's doing this lovely khaki green cushion and again this has got nice kind of flex in it too but you can't really see them on camera so we finished our cushions just look at that that's absolutely perfect now I'm gonna name and shame you here Sharon Sharon hasn't used a sewing machine for how long oh, 30 years yes so she had very first class with me today she couldn't get into our beginner sewing course it's too busy and too fully booked but I promised her she'd be able to go home with something and she has absolutely gorgeous and Lee's is just as lovely look at those zipper tabs gorgeous fabric it's really retro actually I love it well done have you had fun yes yeah thank, thank you so thank much, you much. <laughs> thank you Janice has just come in she's just bought herself a new Janome machine this is our first retail sale I'm very excited oh. so she's going to unpack her machine and we're going to go through it and see what all the different knobs and buttons and things do so if you do buy a machine from us um, then as long as you spend over £200 on your sewing machine then we will give you a free little rundown with it um, how it all works, what all the knobs and buttons do and get you sewing so you can take it home and enjoy it um, so yeah, if you do want to buy a machine, a Janome machine get in touch and I can sort that out for you whilst Janice does that, the ladies here are busy beavering away their free machine embroidery and it looks like We've got an expert in the making here already. There's always one, mind you. This looks like a pretty lovely flower too. A lazy daisy. Jess is busy making a little clasp bag over there. And we have five lovely ladies in here all learning to knit. Say hello, hello. ladies. Hello. <laughs> right, so Janice, the first thing that you have to do with every new sewing machine, you have to christen it. Right. What are you going to call her? <laughs> or him? Uh, Jenny. 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 I like it. Jenny the Janome. Perfect. So then you can talk to Jenny nicely, and if you're nice to her from day one, she'll be nice to you. You shout and swear at her, she'll mop up. All right? Mm. So we'll turn her on. Hello, Jenny. Mm. We're going to have a lovely day today, aren't we? <laughs> Trust me, it works. 
Janice has bought me a lovely little gerbera, very sweet. So I'm just giving him a little bit of water. And while I'm at it, I thought I would water the geraniums. Aren't I being good? That is BTH Key Banter done for this week. Honestly, this time. <laughs> So it's the end of Saturday. We've got no classes in here all week until next Saturday. Um, so there's nothing to see. So I'm going to say goodbye. The only thing I do want to show you, I've just made these gorgeous, cute little pots. Um, they're absolutely lovely. I'm really happy with them. I'll leave a gap here because I'm gonna try and put some Instagram pictures up. If you're, if you're on my Instagram, you will have already seen them. But they are going to be a project where we're going to make our very first me time meet up. Now we always used to have crafty cuppers here at the studio. Basically it was a couple of hours we would come, drink tea, chat to each other and make a really simple project around the table together. And it was just a really nice opportunity to have a little bit of time for ourselves. You didn't need any skills or anything, everything was provided for you. Um, and we haven't done them for a while and everyone's been saying please click on we have crafty cuppers back. So yes we can but they're rebranded they're now called me time meetups and this is going to be one of our very first so by the time you see this the details will be online i will pop them down below in the description i do hope you can come along to bthq and join us for one of our meetups and i will start to show you some of the projects as i create them on here on bthq banter each week so thank you very much for watching i will see you all again soon bye